Just one day after the Gaza Strip's northern region commander of the Palestinian Islamic Jihad, Taisir Jabari, was assassinated, the Israeli Air Force takes out another PIJ leader, Khaled Mansour, on Saturday night by precision strike in the southern Gaza Strip city of Rafah. I can tell you, we carried out another elimination of the commander of the southern area of the PIJ. This is a very important achievement, and according to all the data I have at the moment, we hit him and he was eliminated along with others and in fact the entire military arm of the Palestinian Islamic Jihad in the Gaza Strip was thwarted. But who is Khaled Mansour and why was he assassinated by the IDF? Mansour was the terror organization's commander of the Gaza Strip's southern region. And over the last few days, he planned anti-tank guided missile and high altitude missile attacks on the Israeli border. But over the last couple of decades, Mansour had a heavy hand in numerous attacks on Israel. In July 2004, he was responsible for moderately injuring an IDF southern brigade commander of the Gaza division. Then in 2010, while serving as head of the PIJ's rocket unit, he claimed responsibility for the death of famed IDF combat major Eli Raz Peretz. Then in 2015, he became commander of the PIJ's northern region of the Gaza Strip. From mortar bomb to advanced rockets, IDF intelligence says that Mansour led hundreds of rocket attacks on Israel during this time. He was heavily involved in building tunnels and in May 2021, during Operation Guardian of the Walls, launched barrages of rockets at Israel and attempted massive plots against IDF troops and Israeli civilians. As Israel continues its operation Breaking Dawn, so far the IDF sees it as a success as they eliminate Palestinian Islamic Jihad's top leadership for now. Still with Nari Zilber here for Ali.